where is everybody? I thought people would be going crazy in here. Sewing, draping. I sent everybody home. So I can work on that finishing touches myself. Yeah, well, you're not going to do any of that without dinner. So, you know, we should have packed ourselves a picnic before we left the house. I'm not sure Henry left us anything to snack on. All right, you know what? I'm going to go get you something. How about a big salad at Al's? Onion rings? What do you think? Jack. You want to know. You should just ask. Henry blackmailed you? He did a little dumpster diving. He found my pregnancy test stick. And then he got some Amazon who was working security here that night to admit that she'd seen Mike. He did a little math and he decided that I I needed to give him fifty grand. Fifty thousand dollars. Where'd you come up with that money, Carly? At first I took him an unauthorized loan from the company. But I put that back and uh Mike ended up giving me the money. It's, it's a long story, Jack. I, I didn't ask for his help, I swear to you. I didn't ask for money from him. I didn't ask for his help. He he found out by accident that I was in a bind, and he insisted on helping me. Right, and that's supposed to make me not feel better? It doesn't, not even a little. Look, if you insist on not forgiving me for sleeping with Mike, then, then why go to all this trouble? Why risk your job because of me to keep me safe? I had to shut Henry up for Hal's sake. I did it for Emily, for Rose. Oh. Why can't you just admit it? You put your job on the line. Not for Hal. Not for Emily or Rose. For me. Not doing this for you, Carly. I'm doing it because I promised I'd always protect you. No matter what. Just keeping my word. Look, you didn't do anything wrong. You don't deserve your name to be dragged through the mud because Craig got ambitious. He kidnapped Barbara. You didn't. Why keep any promises at all? Unless somewhere deep down inside you still love me. I am doing my job. To serve and protect. Oh. These are incredible. Do you know that? Thanks. It's obvious that this is what you were meant to do. And I don't want anything to stop you from being as famous as you deserve to be. Thanks. I mean it. Every time you take a step closer to your dreams, that light in you gets stronger, Carly. And right now, it's... It's shining out of everything you touch and everything you create and everything... Everything you are. <laughs> the baby is just kicking. It's kicking. It doesn't even know me. It's kicking me. She's hungry. She missed out on that meal I had planned. All right, Seth. Would you just sit down and relax, please? Let me get us some nourishment. Any requests at all? Well, you were definitely on the right track when you were talking about those onion rings. Just throw in a milkshake or two. Mm -hmm. Any hungry pregnant women in here? Oh, hey, you're back. Check these out. Oh, I mean, thank you. I'm starving. Nothing but the best. Oh, any chance I can get you to sit down and eat those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just so busy. There's so much to do. I don't have much time left. I've been looking and staring at these dresses for so long, I'm not even sure if they're good anymore. You think they're good, don't you? Are you kidding me? This is the best stuff you've ever done. Where's your partner? I thought he was supposed to be here to help. Well, he'll be helping tomorrow. At the show? Actually, he's not going to be at the show. He's going to devote all of his time to keeping Barbara away. I can't believe you agreed to that. Why? Don't you want him to see your design so you can rub her nose in it? I guess so. But Craig's right. She's just a wild card. You remember what she did in my last fashion show in New York? You bang me this nightmare that she's going to ruin this one, too. Well, she's not going to ruin it. No one's going to ruin anything, because I'm going to be there to make sure everything goes smoothly. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. Mm. Any chance I can get you to knock off for the night? I have so much to do. Oh, oh hello. I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? Oh, I understood there's work to be done. Well, you're here to help? <laughs> Jack, you can go. You sure? Yes, absolutely. Rosie.
more. That and I can handle this. Thank you. Well, you are a lifesaver. You can drop the gushy sister act. The night guard told me Craig has already been here. What do you tell you to do? Kiss my feet? No, no, I believe, um... Fawn all over you was the phrase. But I'm perfectly happy to do it. Uh, I'll just bet you are. But don't worry, Carly dearest. You'll have your little fashion show. And when the time comes for the photographers to take the picture, I'll even put my arm around you and smile for the cameras. Because my husband asked me to. Okay. If that's how you want it to be, then that's how it will be. So what's your pleasure? Steamy or organizing? Oh, no. I'm the owner of Monte Carlo, remember? My only help comes when it comes time to take the vows and get the applause. Night-night working, girl. 